All righty, we're going up against Fabio Diaz. He's playing Aranos. So we've played we've played quite a few Atlantean players uh, today with the uh, with the good old set on Painted Desert now. A very very nice spawn here for us of Zebra. I need to do this. We just cast a cast the game. Do this. So I, I'll say it again. There's a th that that's a little secret that I kind of a secret, or maybe a secret. I don't know. It's a kind of technique that I've discovered on um the the spawns of uh, zebra or giraffe, which are three three shot animals. If you shoot the animal on vubli two times with the pharaoh, you can kill it with one shot from the from the laborers, and you get the the villagers gathering just a little bit earlier. But more importantly, you make sure that the zebra is right next to your uh, right next to your Dunarino, which is really nice. I'm gonna shoot that one as well. As these zebra are really nicely placed. So Painted Desert is a very, very aggressive map. So we will be going one town center here nearly every single time. Even if you have a good town center, it's still like a eh, little bit on the dangerous side, I guess. Let's drop this here. The villager onto gold. Okay. He need to. He need to. He need to. He need to. Which wood line do we want? Maybe, maybe this one over here. Rig, no. Need to build a temple now as well. Entio. Fayu. Fayu. Yo e air. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here onto this this wood line there. That makes a little bit more sense, to be honest. Was the um the gold mines in a nice spot there? No. Gonna come on to gold over here. In which get it? Because of how lovely our um our early game has been here, I can drop this monument just a little bit earlier. Which is nice. We're gonna walk all the way to the back here, searching for where gold mines are and all that good stuff. We should be able to get the food to advance here for a fairly decent. Up we go. Um, I'm going to drop one of these villages over here to build some houses around here. Try and get myself nice and safe. And then this village here can come over here. Okay, just make sure we're nice and safe here. In 
So all the gold mines are on the bottom side. Seems like to me. Move my priest back home. In which you need to In wedge. See what he's trying to do. In which in zero in in wedge in tayo in a jire tayo no in tayo tayo and which tayo in which in which in which in which in in He's going next age here, I think. But I'm not too concerned about that. No, no. And we are you refer. In we are you up. Three, you are no. here. In it was correct. And we. And we greet you, I refer. I you refer. No. Greet I air. And we tayo. 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 Greg, tayo. And you. And you. And you Greek and we Greek tayo I will repair and you image direct here here at you image 
Kill him! I should have built barracks instead of going for the mythic age. You didn't go to town center. That was my bad. I made a mistake. No! I think I'm lost. I made a mistake. I needed to just make spearmen here. That's good to know, though. If he goes one town center faster, I'll just make a spearman. Well played, mate. The, uh... I didn't mean to bring villagers either with my attack, so I think I was short some resources to hit Mythic Age. If I hit Mythic Age, then I can make, um... Uh, Anubites here as well. Well, I, I didn't have the gold. Oh, I didn't see this gold mine here. I, how did I not see that gold mine? I swear I sent my guy over there. Oh, well. I was definitely winning. I just needed to build barracks and make some spearmen against one town center. Can't to think of it like the tornado won't give you any value if he doesn't have a second town center. So even if you have it, like, what are you going to use it on? So if I just make spearmen and I go after the attack, go straight to heavy spearmen, these Contarius that he's forced to make get rolled, and then I can go for a gold staff with Spearman. Alright, GG.